You are striving for advanced, flexible and safe inverters? Sounds like you should get to know the new Single Phase. SunGrow's next generation of PV inverters providing maximum freedom. Before starting the installation, please read the safety instructions in our manual. You need a suitable place for the inverter. This means it should be a room where no flammable materials or gases are stored. The wall must be fireproof and able to bear the weight of 40 kg. Furthermore, the inverter should not be exposed to direct sunlight, rain or snow. All screws and plugs required for the installation are already included in the delivery. You only need your own tools like screwdrivers. And off we go! Luckily you don't need a spirit level. SunGrow has it integrated in the mounting plate. Before you start drilling, you should make sure that there are no wires running through the wall that you could damage. Take your drill with the 10mm drill bit and drill at least 70mm deep into the wall at the marked points. The dowels for mounting the inverter on the wall are included in the delivery. You will also need a cordless screwdriver for attaching the mounting plate. The required screws are part of the delivery. For the lift-out protection, you need a cross screwdriver to fix the two M4 fixing screws and washers. Before the inverter can be connected, the AC home circuit breaker must be disconnected, the cables must be de-energized and in perfect condition. Before installation, make sure by measuring that the cables are really voltage-free. You will find all cable requirements and wire sizes in our manual. Furthermore, you have to set the DC switch at the bottom of the inverter to OFF. Now let's connect the inverter to ground. There is a grounding terminal at the bottom of the inverter. Connect it to the general grounding of the house. We start with the AC plug. Because of our handy plugs, you don't have to open the inverter for installation. Simply pull the cable through the individual components and fix them with three simple clicks, completely screw-free. Make sure that all cables are fixed to the respective terminals. When all cables are in place, push the terminal strip into the housing of the plug. When you hear a click, the terminal strip is properly engaged. Last but not least, you have to tighten the fasteners. Connect the AC connector to the inverter and fix it with an M4 screw. That's it! Quick and easy! Now let's take a look at the DC connector. After stripping the insulation, you have to attach a crimp contact. For this, you have to check the polarity, because each pole has different terminals that need to be crimped. The polarity is marked on the inverter. Then push the cable into the insulating sleeve until it snaps into place. Screw it and that's it! Check again that the polarity corresponds to the imprint. The finished plugs only fit to the appropriate connections. The amount of DC inputs varies depending on the power range of the inverter. In the next step, we will connect the energy meter to the communication port of the inverter. Remove approximately 4 to 5 cm of the cable sheath of the communication cables. Then strip approximately 7 to 10 mm of the inner cables. If necessary, you may have to fit the cables with end sleeves before you push them into the plug. At the left side of the inverter, you will find a table with information about which cable has to be plugged into which port. The smart meter is connected to the ports A2 and B2. The other end of the cable needs to be connected to the smart meter itself. Mount the meter to a DIN rail and connect the communication cable RS485A to pin 2 and RS485B to pin 5. Plug it in. Screw it. And fix it with an M4 screw. For commissioning, you have to connect the new Ynet module. It combines Ethernet and Wi-Fi in one port and is part of the delivery scope. If you want to use Ethernet, simply unscrew the swivel nut from the Ynet S and thread the network cable through it. Insert the RJ45 plug into the plug connector until you hear a click. 
Screw everything together and plug the device in. If you want to use Wi-Fi, it's even easier. Simply connect the module to the inverter. That's it. The installation is done. Now it's time for commissioning. First, you have to set the DC switch of the inverter to the on position to connect the inverter to the PV generator. Next, you have to switch on the AC circuit breaker. A look at the LED light tells you if everything works properly. If the light shines continuously blue, the inverter is ready for use. If this is not the case, please refer to the manual where you will find a breakdown of the different light signals. When connected, the Ynet module takes some minutes to fully boot. To finalize the setup, you need to download the iSolar Cloud app. You may find a detailed commissioning video on our YouTube channel.